everybody. This is Melanie with Lost and Found and lostandfounddecor.com is the blog and the website and I am in my hot mess of a garage again. Um, you guys may see my my fat cat back there behind me, his tail poking up. He, he walked in to visit but I'm in here today um, just to give you guys a quick tip and this is such an easy and simple thing but it is something that um, I honestly don't see a lot of people doing. So it is it is just my easiest tip. It's kind of my, my secret trick that I tell people for how to get your painted furniture to have that really buttery smooth finish. I get so many questions, people asking me how to get rid of brush strokes and how to furniture or how to have your finish be smooth. And we can talk some about that, but um, Really, you can use this trick no matter what brush you use, no matter what paint you use. Um, this trick has nothing to do with your paint or with your brush, and it, it's so simple, you're gonna be kicking yourself that you haven't been doing this the whole time. So, um, this is this awesome uh, French Provincial um, three joy dresser that I got a little while ago, and um, it's got two coats of Fusion Mineral Paint Ingle Nook on it. And this dresser is going, uh, you're going to see it again. So um, I've got something really exciting that I'm doing with this piece that I can't tell you about yet, but um, I can tell you more about it soon. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of this dresser. But um, I've got this, these two coats of fusion on it, and it's time for me to finish and smooth it off. And so are you guys ready? Are you ready to see just incredibly how simple this is, my trick? Okay, look what I've got good old sandpaper. Yep, that's it. It's just sandpaper. But here's the thing, it's really, really fine grit sandpaper. This is a 320. Well, that's, that's not super fine in the world of sandpaper, but it, in for furniture finishing, it, it's pretty fine. So this is 320 grit sandpaper. You want to get you a thing of fine grit sandpaper, at least 220. I really prefer 320. And then when you are all done painting, and you were all done distressing, okay? This is not distressing your piece. This is not the sandpaper you use for distressing. This is how we're going to finish it. After you're done distressing, and before you put on any of your top coats, if you're gonna put on a wax, if you're gonna put on um, a poly, before you do any of that, I want you to take this fine grit piece of sandpaper, and you're just gonna go over your whole piece, okay? This, again, this is not distressing. This is not taking any paint off. It will take you less than five minutes, but you, I want you to run it over the whole surface of your piece, especially the flat parts that people are gonna touch, okay? I'm just gonna do this little part for you. And then you're gonna get a rag wet with some water, and you're gonna wipe it, and that's it. And I wish that you guys could reach through the phone screen and come touch this piece of furniture now. <laughs> but you're just going to have to take my word for it. You touch right here and you touch over here where I haven't sanded and it feels like a different piece of furniture. Okay? Now, I don't know why people don't do this all the time. I am in antique malls and in shops all the time and I walk by and I touch furniture and it feels rough and it feels bumpy and there's little flecks in it. And all of that is fixed if you finish sand your piece. That fixes all of that. And it literally takes you five minutes. And I have found too that especially when using Fusion, some people say they think Fusion is still a little bit too flat. Doing this with Fusion brings out a little bit of luster, I think. Um, and it just makes your pieces feel butter smooth. So. Even if you still have some brush strokes or some mistakes, you know, that you can see, this is going to make it feel smooth. And people are going to look at it and they're going to go, wow, that's a great smooth finish because it feels smooth. Even if you can still see a few bumps in there. And all it takes is five minutes with a little bit of fine grit sandpaper. So that's it. That's my trick. Um, Again, you're probably, if you haven't been doing this already, you're probably kicking yourself going, why haven't I been doing this already? We don't wanna, you know, we're not going for perfection with our pieces, but we don't wanna be lazy with them either. And so take that extra five minutes at the end and finish sand your pieces. And I promise you, it's gonna make a big difference in how they feel and how they look. 
and it's going to make your piece stand out. If you're selling your pieces in a mall or someplace where there's other pieces around you, it's going to make your pieces stand out because people are going to touch them and they're going to go, wow, this is done really, really well. So um, that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, my kids are home from school, and so I'm going to go back inside before too much chaos ensues. Um, I see a few of you have stopped in today and want to say hi and say hi to Sandra. Sandra is excited about the new English rose um, from Fusion, the new pink color. I'm excited too. I should have some um, here in about 14 days. I should have some in stock. It takes a while for me to get it from Canada, um, but I should have some soon. And again, stay tuned for, yeah, thanks Nicole. You're so welcome. I, I know it, it's just, it seems so easy. It's like, is it even worth doing a video about this? But figured why not so um, you know what if you watch this and you found this helpful please share um, just click the little share button and share this video because um, Facebook is making it a little harder for some of these live videos to show up and so if you found it helpful just click share share it um, and maybe a paint group that you're a part of share it on your own page um, and just spread the love I appreciate it and let's all have nice smooth furniture from here on out okay so I'll see everyone again soon. Bye-bye.